Greetings, mortals. It is I, Strongest Avenger. Hi, guys. <laughs> and... Fairy Princess. A oh, no. fairy princess. <laughs> the most beautiful fairy princess in all of the Nine Realms. Thanks. And we are here to answer all of your questions Ooh. on this hallowed Ask RNA. Let's say in a, but that would be bad. Yes. Welcome back to another episode of Ask RNA. Yay! Where we are going to answer your questions. My name is Ryan. And I'm Angela. And we are owners of a little mom and pop music shop deep in the heart of Midgard. Midgard, yes. Where we teach lessons uh -huh. and sell stuff and things. Yes. All right. Of course, this is a Halloween episode of Ask RNA. Today is Friday. This Sunday is Halloween. All the kiddos got their amazing costumes on. And yes. uh, we also have our amazing costumes on. Yay! And we are excited to nice. answer some questions from all of you people across the nine realms. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the questions. Today's a fun one. At least for us. Yes. <laughs> Let's get to the questions. Yay! First question, Sinner's Dwarf. I'd like to buy, I'd buy a used Gibson my birth year or my children's birth year, so I'm always looking out for them. Mm -hmm. We talked about purchasing Gibson guitars last week. Would you buy a new one? And when did you decide to stop buying new Gibsons? Right. So, Sinner's Dwarf is addressing that. A less controversial question. Have you played around with a new Kiesel guitar builder? It's pretty cool, but you can lose some serious time playing with it. LOL. Hashtag, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? I, don't know. I have not played around with the Kiesel custom guitar builder. I believe they I believe they just redid their website. I heard someone talking about that. You can go on there and spec out a guitar and you know, basically online design a custom guitar with Kiesel. Mm -hmm. And then they'll give you a price and you'll go, hmm. Yes, I'll buy that or, or no one. I have not messed around with that. Actually, I was having a discussion with someone the other day about Kiesel guitars. Mm -hmm. And if I had ever played one. And I don't think I've ever played a newer Kiesel. Mm -hmm. I believe I have played a Carvin. Okay. Which, same company. They changed the name to split off the Carvin, the Pro Audio stuff, to separate that from the, mm -hmm. the uh, guitar stuff. <laughs> Trademark. I have very mighty feelings <laughs> uh, about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have I've played an older carbon, but I have never played one of the newer generation okay. Kiesels. It seems like it seems like online, you know, people either love them or they're unhappy, right. which is a, a lot of brands. But um, I've heard a lot of great things about Kiesel and the quality and all that, and mm -hmm. especially for the price points. Mm -hmm. But then you also hear people complaining here and there too, which is with everything, right? Right. Of course, but. Um, uh, Phil McKnight, who we've talked about a few times, Phil is a big fan of Kiesel, and he has several, and his have been great. And mm -hmm. he would say all of his experience has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. But you never know, of course, if a company if a company's going to send a guitar to a high-profile YouTube person or you know social media person, they're probably going to make sure it's good before it leaves. Right. Where you know you you but you want that to represent your company. Yes, so. for sure. I have not checked out the Kiesel Custom Builder. Later today, I may go do that. That would make a nice little B-roll clip, maybe. Me go, like, hey, he, yeah. he's specking out my custom. If I could spec out a custom Kiesel, what would I do? Right, right. I might try to do that if I can figure out screen capture. So. Kiesel. 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 Evil Kniesel. Thank you for the question, Sinner's Dwarf. Next question. Just fun guitar. How dare you? Hashtag, hashtag KTMA. Chris Cornell is my favorite vocalist, so I would choose him every time, but I do like Axel's vocal, especially back in the day. Ooh. He has a fun tone that is unique. Mm -hmm. Glad you saved the little dogs, Mightiest Avenger. New question. Has an animal ever stolen your food before? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Which, yes. which one? Pepper. Pepper. The Chihuahua. Pepper Potts, our she Chihuahua. She's notorious for. She's a notorious being... bi. Yes. 
G pepper. B I C. <laughs> she is. Um, I was thinking Chihuahua, not Charge. When I said that in my head. <laughs> um, biscuit in Charge. Yes. She's the H B I. Yes. <laughs> Head biscuit. Yes, she is a chihuahua. <laughs> is a chihuahua. <laughs> yes, she's the uh, what is it? H C I C. Head chihuahua. In charge. She's the H C I C. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that little biscuit. Yes, will jump up onto a chair that's at the table, mm -hmm. and to then get, get up on the, on the dining room table mm -hmm. to get to a plate. Well, of, our old table, our, our old, old table. kitchen table that it was we a little had bit lower. was lower. The mm -hmm. new one, the dining room table, has more like bar stool seats to it, so she mm -hmm. can't reach that. Oh my goodness! I don't know if that was a trailer or somebody actually got hit. Trailer. I don't know what that was. But I would have easily saved them. Yeah, Strongest we'll like in here. Easily. But yes, she, um, our bigger table, she can't really reach up to. But she, if we have food, like if we're eating in the, in the living room, if we're watching a movie and she's able to get up on, we have to watch her and she steals our food if we don't watch her. She steals the other dog's food. Yes, and she steals the other dog's food. So we have to always feed some dogs separate from her because she'll go in and take their snacks. She'll go and take their treats out of their own kennel. Um, she'll so, leave her kennel, go to their kennel, get inside of it, get their treats. Yeah, because in the mornings we open the doors and let them roam and, you know, and they roam the house all the time. So, but <laughs> then she'll go to the other dog's kennels trying to find their treats and stuff like that. So she's real bad about that. Anyway. Yes, the Chihuahua, especially the Chihuahua, is stealing the food. Yeah. <laughs> like it just that? looks like really soft hair. It is. It's like you really know, nice, great quality hair. It's good. Twenty-three years ago, I had I had some nice, <laughs> I had some nice quality hair. Twenty-three years ago. <laughs> oh, Woo! the other dogs will. Uh, ooh. Halloween candy. Halloween candy. You're wrecking my diet, fairy it's, princess. Because we were, I mean, we're talking Reese's. This is, it's not a Reese's pumpkin. Oh yeah. But I guitar. thought, since I didn't have Reese's pumpkin, I thought, let's just bring a Reese's. It's a mini cup. A mini Reese's cup. It's a mini cup. Reese's cup. It's not very Texas size. This is not. This it's, is like a... Uh, like normally, we, we, we both enjoy... This is the, like a Delaware size the, Was it the Mega? Is it the oh, oh. Mega? Giant. This is a Delaware sized um, yeah. Reese's cup. Yeah. Thank you for the question, Just Fun Guitar. Next question, mm -hmm. Fat Philosopher. Time to give Ryan a break. Angela, rank the following female-fronted 70s rock bands based on their vocal quality. Fleetwood Mac, Heart, Blondie, The Runaways. What? Why? Oh my gosh. In order of their vocal quality. Vocal quality, ooh. That's kind of an ambiguous question. But I mean, maybe it's your personal preference. Okay. Hmm. Well, Local quality. I'd have to say with my most influenced out of the four I, that have influenced me the most. What? I was gonna say. No, go ahead. What? No, go ahead. I'm gonna say heart. Yeah. Heart number one. Num. I think heart easily. To this day. Like. Easily first place is hard. She can blow 80, to this day. Like, yeah, even currently. at her age now, she is like, like, what? Yeah. Um, easily. Easily. Like, a very far front runner first place. Yes. Yes. I honestly, I have to say, I don't know the Runaways. Off the top of my head. I like, can't think of a song. If you would have say, oh, they sing this, I'd be like, oh, of course, but... Off the top of my head, that does not ring any bells. So they would have to be last place, which is sad because yeah. I would hate so to be have... like, what? Listen later and be like, oh gosh, I changed my answer. But um, so Heart, mm -hmm. are you going to look at let's look them up? Yeah, go ahead. Keep talking okay. though. So Heart, definitely. Um, see, that's hard between Blondie and Fleetwood Mac. Um, uh, oh, Cherry Bomb. Oh, I see. I knew. I was like, I knew there's a song probably that I'll be like, yeah. But off the top of my head, I didn't know that this who they were. Oh, Joan Jett. Joan Jett was in. Okay. The oh runaways. gosh. Ugh. Okay. No, I got it right here. Only because I do 
not like necessarily Stevie Nicks. Mostly because my mom could not stand her as a child. Um, I think mostly because her sister loved her. <laughs> and so it was a childhood thing. So my mom uh, your put like a bad Steve, taste yeah. in my mouth towards mm. Stevie Nicks. So I would have to say then Heart, The Runaways, mm -hmm. Blondie, then Fleetwood Mac. Oh, controversial. The Fleetwood Mac Got fans last. will be. Yeah. Well, because her voice is very kind of just flat. It's not like it's a very strong voice. She has a lot of great songs. And very not flat as an out of pitch, but as no, a very... No, just like a very straight line voice. She doesn't have like a dynamically, like, rah! When you think heart, you think barracuda. I mean... Yeah, you think I mean, power. even Blondie has like a really great kind of high, very 70s, ah, like... Ah, yeah, she just has that really great, ah, like... Ah, like, she still has that kind of edgy sound to her. And of course... Like Stevie now, is more like mellow. Yes, she's more like... She's borderline uh, folk music yeah. to me. Yeah. So, in the quality of strength, those three women, like Joan Jett and yeah. I can't think of her name from Blondie. Off the top of my head, I the always... Blonde, the blonde yeah. one. Um, so, yes. Um, Controversial. Great question. But yeah, that's what I would go. Heart, The Runaways, Blondie, then Fleetwood. I agree with that. I'm not a mega, like, Fleetwood Mac fan. Although, like, we've done some songs. Like, we've done Landslide, and what was the one that your student sang? Was that was it Landslide? Landslide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of your vocal students sang it, and I had to learn the guitar part to it. And, like, mm -hmm. they have some great songs. Seven tunes. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, they do have some... But I honestly... I, it, I would I, rather I, listen to Heart. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I actually do, like... I'll, when I'm by myself in the car, I say... Hey Siri, play. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. If it. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. Never mind. Hush, Siri. We didn't mean it. If I had to choose between the two, I would definitely choose Heart over Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. That's has always been my top since I was a kid. Like my mom had a Heart album. You know, like like I grew up hearing her voice mm -hmm. most of my childhood. So she shaped that for me a lot more than those other women, which they did. But so, anyways. Great. Thus saith the princess. Thus saith the fairy princess. Mm -hmm. Elven princess. Only in my opinion. Only yeah. in her opinion. Because, good heavens. Trailers. Yeah. Nostalgia plays a part in it, I think, for a lot of people when it comes to voices. So. Yeah. You guys and one girl, Black Jack, who's watching, mm -hmm. uh, um, you... You guys rate those in order of your preference of mm -hmm. those bands. Which one do you like in vocal qualities? Which one do you like the best? I, we would love to see y'all's answer to that because we know it's going to be different than ours. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. A lot of people agreed with our power trio assessment last week, though. Nice. So I, I hit the nail yeah. on the head with that one. So mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for the question, Fat Philosopher. Who knows what he's going to ask next? That's that's now you got me off kilter. I cannot even predict what you're going to ask. So. Texting me on my watch. All right, next question. Yeah. Walking Dead 1369. Hold up. Y'all glossed over some KK crickets trying to pull Angela out of her house? Question mark. Um, <laughs> I need to hear that story. Oh. <laughs> KK crickets. The KKK. Uh, oh, the we just, KK. <laughs> we're talking about scary moments. Yeah, you can't scary say it too moments. much because yeah. you don't oh, yeah, want you don't to be, flag. You don't want to be flag the. The pale supremacist. <laughs> pale supremacy. <laughs> yeah. I was playing Red Dead Redemption last devil. night, and there's a scene in Red Dead Redemption where there's some guys in the woods burning stuff, mm. and one of them gets too close to the flaming log, and his robe catches on fire and That's burns. That's awesome. And you have, a, you have a chance to just... Bless his heart. Uh, mess all those guys up mm -hmm. on Red Dead Redemption too. So that's yeah. kind of fun. Anyway, yeah. so story, story time with Angela. Okay, so I was probably a sophomore in high school. 
Um, I was babysitting friends of ours and we were outside just minding our own business. We had a picnic lunch and all of a sudden this redneck just comes barreling in like the Dukes of Hazard into our driveway. And we had this dirt driveway that circled around a giant group of trees that my mom put flowers out and everything. So he comes through and we think, of course we were on a major highway, well country, major highway. Country highway. Um, and lots of trucks and stuff. So, and we had a lot of accidents. So I'm thinking, oh, someone's hurt or someone and he gets out. Uh, we don't know that he's armed at the time until later. Um, he had a handgun and um, he's just starting to scream and yell and cuss and trip over himself. He was intoxicated and um, drunk hillbillies with guns. So great. Drunk anybody with guns is not good. Doesn't matter. I don't, what side I, of the tracks, have to be hillbillies. Whatever de demographic, it's not a good combina combination. Anyways, so um, I gather the girls up because, you know, they're like, you know, 10, 11. I think one was nine at the time. So I gather the girls up and my sister, and I'm like, get inside right now. Let's lock all the doors, go to the back room, sit down, be quiet. And so um, he sees us running. He's like, hey, wait, 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 wait. And um, of course I'm ignoring him because that's what our dad taught us to do. We don't engage, we don't say anything, we don't yell back because he's, he he's an adult. Um, I think he might've been in his late 20s. Um, early 30s and so we go inside and he proceeds to start knocking stuff over in our yard and uh, banging on the doors using racial slurs telling those racial slurs to come out of the house and I know you're in there um, I just need to talk I don't want y'all living here um, just come on out and he said if you don't come out I'm gonna kill your racial slur cat I'm gonna kill your racial slur dogs and he had one of our cats like by the neck and he was actually chasing them and I remember him going underneath because we lived in a mobile home and he our porch was raised and he went underneath the porch trying to grab our cats because I guess he was going to kill them on our, you know, to try to lure Because they were African-American cats. Yes, because they were African-American cats, apparently. And um, so uh, when he started banging on the doors and trying to open up the windows and, of course, I get on the phone with my dad. Um, I call the school trying to look for my dad and I said, there's a man trying to break into our house and he's, you know, he's drunk and he's trying to get to us. And, and dad said, just get down, shut the door. Don't open the doors. We're on our way. You know, they're on our way. And so I, cause he proceeded, I mean, it was a good like 20 or 30 minutes of him just running around screaming, trying to get in every, you know, you window and me. I know I should have called you I'm sorry babe. You or were you me. like uh, I think if you I was a freshman you were a junior in high school <laughs> um so I would have been there anyways I grab the rifle behind my dad's bed and load I it yeah and I stood by the front door with the rifle you know and I told him it's like if you come in here you know I'm I'm gonna get you basically i don't remember the exact word but i remember like yelling back at him like you are not coming in here and he was just like come out here girl come on out here you know i know that n-word lives here and da, 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 da. so um finally he takes off he gets in his car because he couldn't get in the house um i think it was god you know that honestly saved his life um and mine and the girls and um so he takes off and not too long my dad comes pulling up and the sheriff or the deputy sheriff Rick Grimes. Shut up. And uh, Robbie Neff. Uh, and so he Close they come enough. up and um, they were like, well, which way did he head? I said he headed that way. His license plate is da 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 da. He was wearing jeans, white t-shirt with a um, concert t-shirt. He had dark hair. He was brown eyes. Like I had everything described and um, they said they found him. And when they found him, he was back at the clans. The meeting place for all the... Yes, which it's, I mean, it's... It's on the highway. Like if you drive through between our town and another town or south of us, you will see it on the right. South, south of Athens on Highway 19, there's you'll a see club. It. It's the Coon Creek Club. Where all the All idiots. spelt with K's. <laughs> and so... Um, Subtle much. Yes. And, um, well, you know, we, I remember us driving when I was a kid and we'd go to Palestine, um, the town south of us. And, and we we're like, Coon Creek Club? What's that? And Mom's like, shush your mouth. We don't talk about that. I was like, 
I thought it might have been like a strip club. Like I thought it was something yeah. like a like a girly club Ooh. or some a gentleman's club. And then later on, mom was like, "Ladies there, Coon Creek Club," because it was on Coon Creek. Let's just put it that way. It wasn't because of the racial slur, right? You no, know, it was actually the creek that it was on is called Coon Creek, spelled with a C, like a raccoon, like a raccoon, obviously. Yes. And um, anyways, so he they found him. He got arrested for you know. Disorderly, disorderly kind of, you know, something like that. And, um, of course, they were like, you handled yourself so well. And, of course, the girls were crying. And I was crying. I was shaking. And I was like, you did great. You know. And he got arrested. I guess he had some warrants or something out. And they, they had issues with him before um, doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, he tried, to, he tried to break in. and. What year was this, do you think? It was... 92, 93. 92, 93. Mm -hmm. In the 90s. Yeah. People being dumb. There you go, walking dead. There you go, long story, but. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we glossed over that real quickly last yeah. week, and he was like, wait, wait a second, what'd you say? What, did it come again? <laughs> How many K's was in Excuse that? Excuse me? <laughs> How many K's did you just say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But Not we had issues with them. In our town, we had our Christmas parade almost canceled. In Athens, Texas. In Athens, Texas, in my hometown. Um, the, because they wanted a parade in, in our Christmas They wanted a float. They wanted a float in the, in the <laughs> Christmas parade. Um, with full, you know, what's it called? Regal? Regal. Regal, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the banner, and they told them. They presented it. Here's what we want to do. Here's what we want to do. And I was going to say, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you ain't was in it, our, homie. it was in our paper on the front page and everything because they would always come down to the courthouse and full regal, this like just stupid signs and everything, and just stand there and protest and do their thing. That's just crazy, though. That's just crazy talk. Yeah. So I mean, I've grown up like full hoods and full masks everything. And... I mean, I grew up a lot of times. You know, every few years they would just come out and do their thing so maybe they thought it was halloween <laughs> are we are we dressing up as ghosts today <laughs> is it ghosty day today yeah so yeah there you go there you go walking dead mm -hmm. how about that yeah. Yeah. Crazy, right? <laughs> all right and that brings us on that note that brings us to the next part of this video which is <laughs> one of my favorite parts the where best part of the day comment of the day Comment of the day time, where uh, we take a comment from last week's video mm -hmm. and we read it to you guys because we enjoyed it. But we also are actually going to play play a little song. What? We're gonna write yes. some music yes. on the spot. There was a pick on the stand because yes. I forgot I had picks in my picks in my pocket. I have some mighty guitar picks in my pocket. I don't want that. Okay. It's a flimsy. Pick. That's flimsy. I use uh, I use Asgardian picks. Manly. Manly, Manly picks. picks. You have to be worthy for these picks. That. Why? Just, I don't know. What kind I of just, day? I can't hold on to anything today. Okay. All right. So we're gonna read this comment and we're going to. Uh, I'm gonna play some music. Okay. And then Angela's go first. gonna sing a little something. <laughs> I have so much hair over here now. Oh my gosh, that's a funny comment. I just yeah. read it. <laughs> okay. So comment of the day. Okay. Song time. Okay. Sing along. Words will be on the screen. You okay. can sing. I just had it on the wrong note. You did. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. All right. Yeah, because I'm I'm trying to play soft. Okay. You sing with her. I'm just going to sing. I got to be loud. Different chords, maybe? I don't know. 
Those are the chords I picked. And yeah. so that's the and song that's that happened. That's the song that happened that came bursted out of that combination. Yeah! Oh. That's what happened. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Come with a midnight wind laughing at Angela breaking down the hot chocolate. It's like a cocoa meth lab. Mm -hmm. We were discussing hot cocoa combinations last week of how you should make your hot cocoa. Yeah. So if you're interested in some hot cocoa recipes, go back to last week's Ask RNA. All right. You're welcome. <gasps> You, yes, for sure. And then the next question, also from Midnight Win, hashtag how dare you. If you could not use an amp and had to use headphones, would you choose a Kemper or a Helix? And for Angela, do you know of a way to stretch out a wool sweater that was shrunk in the wash? It's from Ireland and made of real lamb's wool. It shrunk up and down, not around the middle. Oh, <laughs> so it shrank vertically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so two questions may not win. If I could not use an amp, how do you use a, which would I choose, a Kemper or a Helix? Hmm. Oh, that's a very good question. I feel like I would probably go with the Helix because I think it's more affordable. Line six makes the Helix. Um, Kemper is a profiler thing. Probably the Helix, I just feel like it would probably be easier to use. I'm a simple, I'm a simple man. <laughs> so um, I haven't really looked deep into all those. I've watched videos, of course, of other guys out there doing videos about here's my Line 6, here's my Kemper, here's my uh, Axe FX 2. Probably, honestly, I'm more intrigued by the Axe FX. So before either one of those, I would probably look at an, an Axe 8. Um, I actually did play one of those when I was at uh, you know, the Metallica concert where I got to go and you got to play on James Hetfield's guitars and you got to play through basically these little mini Axe Effects rigs and yeah. then you could play and it was the presets that they used to play. So, 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 so probably Zool. 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 There is no Dana, only Zool. That's who I should be next year. Yeah. <laughs> Zool? I don't know, whenever she turns, oh, she's like on the bed and her makeup and her hair, like gown, would be awesome. That would be frightening, possibly. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah. uh, so probably an axe effects. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a, I got a wild I got a wild here. Probably the axe uh, axe mm -hmm. two or axe eight. Mm -hmm. That seems like it would make the most sense. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with axe mm -hmm. axe effects. That just feels right. right. The axe effects. Right let's too. let's put this over here because it's. There you go. I need a sippy sip while we're. Um, Sure. Massive coffee. Okay. Yeah. Angela, do you know how to stretch out a wool sweater that's been shrunken? No. Do you own any wool no. clothing? Never have. I think they have you ever. Mm -mm. I don't think I have either. Um but I believe there has there has to it has to do with something I think I remember watching a long time ago, maybe like Martha Stewart, if you know who that is. I don't know if you're old enough or you under know Mar Martha Stewart. Prob probably. Um, Our demographic is... I know, but some people don't know Martha Stewart. Um, so yeah. I think they... Snoop she's Dogg knows so Martha Stewart. <laughs> right. Um, soaked in, in some um, wool light and fabric softener to soften up the threads and then just slowly pulling it you know, gently, like, mm -hmm. and then letting it lay flat. There's some dang batteries. <laughs> I know there are videos on YouTube for sure of that. So, but there... I, I personally don't have a concoction or method to stretching out or have a shrunk wool because I've never done it before. Your eyelashes are over the top. Yeah, they're beautiful. I don't, I don't know if you think can they, can they see can't it. see them. You can see him from the side. There you go. <laughs> and make, it's a top hat. So. Those will make some interesting thumbnails. <laughs> there you go. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that question, Midnight Win. Let us know if you figure it out. Come back and share it because you never know. You never Somebody know. Somebody else might need that information. Final question. Mr. Wilson with a P base. I'm sitting on my robe. Ugh. It's the only problem with robes. Your, your probe. My, my probe. Uh, my cape. Yes. No capes. That's right. There's a reason capes are. That'd be a fun costume. <laughs> what, the little lady? Mm -hmm. Get a black bob and big glasses. That would be funny. <laughs> and a cigarette. Yeah. I don't want to be Mr. Incredible. 
Okay. He doesn't have a beard. Uh, Mr. Wilson with a P base final question. Hashtag Axel Garden. Hashtag Chris and Roses. Hashtag How Dare You. Question What would you do if Gibson offered you a signature RNA Les Paul like they did for Rick Beato? Are you saying no? Question mark. Of course not. Signature guitar from Gibson for me. What? You would totally take it. Oh, you think I would betray my principles? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. It. You be. That kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. Why? You. It would be. It would be amazing to have a big. Even though they again, we were talking about you know mm -hmm. the, the big wigs aren't mm -hmm. that great. But there are little Big guys. Fat the, the, the little guys, the guys who build them, you would think about getting them a job and you know, that would be something that they can do. So if you think of it that way, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like that. Hmm. Just just FYI. Are you, you're seriously telling me that if yeah. Gibson themselves said, hey, we like, we watched you, we like what you're doing, we like what you stand for. We've heard you say bad things about us and we understand, we take it under advisement. I'm just saying, would you be like, no. Probably no. I had to think about that because I'm like, you know, I'm on a deep search for some Les Paul Customs, mm -hmm. older ones. I have a Gibson Explorer that I love. Mm -hmm. I want a Gibson Flying V from the same year as my Explorer. And so I have a little family of 90s models Gibsons. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously they're, they're, they're an iconic brand, you know, like Harley Davidson. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I mean, they are synonymous with rock and roll. And, right. But they've also, the principle. the principle of it, they've also been a bunch of buttholes. Yeah. Like, again, not the people making the guitars and yeah, singing. We, we and, understand you know. that's what I, But some of you might be watching this who didn't watch the last video. That's true. We said this last time. Not the people who are sanding the necks and spraying the bodies and inlaying the frets and stuff. But the corporate bigwig fat cats <laughs> who don't give a shizzle about For rizzle. other people or about anything other than money. It's a Snoop Dogg day. For shizzle. So... As much as like I love the Gibsons that I own and the guitar itself is just a piece of wood and metal right. and is a tool to make music just like I don't care who makes this hammer I'm just going to use this hammer to hammer some nails. Right. You know I don't know. Unless if you find out that the hammer company are a bunch of... Well yeah ones. there you go like well you know the uh, the president of <clears throat> whatever super tools is a super tool. Why would you buy that? I could just go get a craftsman Hashtag hammer. Super <laughs> President of Super Tools is a super tool. Are you going to use that super tool hammer? Yes, I am. No, I'm going to go oh, buy a craftsman. Because, no. you know, but I don't know that the president of craftsman might be a huge butthole, but we don't know. Yes. The problem is in the guitar community, the guitar community is such a small community, right. really. Right. In the world, that's like, and we're obsessed. Head. We're obsessed with, you know, stuff like that. And we know, like, oh, Gibson, oh, man. Right. Oh Gibson, oh man, and they've been, they've <laughs> done good things and they've done bad things for so long. We kind of all know about it, you know. Whereas, like, I don't even know, I couldn't even tell you the name of the president of a bunch of other companies mm -hmm. or the CEO. Like, I know who the CEO of Gibson is because I watch guitar stuff all the time. I'm like, oh, it's J.C. Curley. Whatever. Right. Everybody's like, oh yeah, there's a new corner for Gibson. I. So I had to say, I thought about that. I'm like, as much as that would be like, hey. If a company the size of Gibson is recognizing you, that's some pretty good PR. Mm -hmm. Like, well, if that's you some pretty good it, PR that like the I don't size really like y'all. Gibson is recognizing you more than likely somebody that you would actually respect would recognize yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So what would probably happen? I'd be like, I mean, honestly, thanks guys. I won't give Paul Reed Smith a small a uh, little call. Hey Paul, so Gibson just offered me this, but you know what? I'd rather work with you guys. What's, uh, what say you, Paul? What say you? And he might be like, oh, yeah, you might as well go with Gibson. <laughs> I've watched your videos too. Just take the Gibson eh. ride. <laughs> I've met Paul Reed Smith. Though. He's actually yeah. a couple of times. 
Got my picture. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah, I would, I would, I would probably say no. Now that doesn't negate the fact that I'm still hunting for a 1975 Les Paul Custom, right. and I'm still looking at. I'll look at for older 90s ones, but as of today, Rocktober 29th, 2021, mm -hmm. my answer would be no. Because if it's just a guitar, it's just a guitar. It's like, mm -hmm. now if they offered me a million dollars, hey, we're gonna give you a signature guitar and pay you a million dollars to play it. I'd be like, I don't, I better check with my wife to see what my principles on this are. Right. Would I violate my principles for a million dollars? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> See, I said no when you violate <laughs> your principles. See, violating your principles to me does not mean buying from a company that has made poor choices. Violating my principles is like, you know they have like child trafficking child traf and they own the porn business. You know, like that to me would be like, I'm violating it because I know yeah. that 100% of their profit goes towards... Really terrible stuff. Yeah, that would be violating my principles yeah. to me, not... Because almost every single corporation, from Disney to AT&T, has people that have, have very low moral standards on how they treat their people. So, And every business's main focus is to make money. Right. You have to make money. And you're going to step on toes. Or you don't stay in business. And a lot of people don't like that. So, Yeah. It, that's a tough... That's a... That's a pretty tough question, Mr. Wilson with the Fuse. I feel like right now I would say no if they offered me a guitar. Mm-hmm. I feel like I would say that. Right, right. If it legit actually happened, I don't know. Maybe they could convince me. Hey, hey, yeah, we've had, yeah, we've done some stuff, and uh, it was, it was, we made a mistake. We made some bad choices, mm -hmm. and we're trying to turn a page, and we're going to move, move forward with a new outlook, and we want you to be a part of that. We see you as the kind of person who's, blah blah blah. Maybe they could sweet talk me into like, hey, we've changed. Probably, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Great question, Mr. Wilson with yeah. a P-Base. I think we've been too long on this. Probably so. <laughs> right now my answer is no. Okay, there All you right. go. There you go. If you, if you guys, if Gibson offered you a signature guitar, would you take it? I bet Flat Fat Philosopher will say no. I think uh, it'll be 50-50. Probably 50-50. I think it's gonna be 80-20. 80 be like, yeah! <laughs> Free Gibson! Free Gibson guitar. In your name. With your name on it? Yeah, I'm taking that deal. Probably. All right, there you go. That was the final question. Thank you guys so much. Uh, hope you enjoyed this weekend. If you go out and get some candy. Memory card's full. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, that was the last question, whatever we were talking about. Oh, if you go out, if you're handing out candy this weekend, uh, mm -hmm. in the next day or two, be safe, have fun. Ooh, candy. How many calories is this? I don't know. I gotta know, I gotta count them. Uh, we'll look at the bag when we get home. It's on the bag. Okay. Uh, have a good time. You guys be safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. If you have a question for next week, please put it down below in the comment section of this video, and we'll try to answer that next week. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a new comment of the day song. I feel like I could have done a better job with chords than I did, but it's good. it is what it is. It's it good. is what it is. We can't go back and change it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So if you did watch this entire video, which I hope is shorter than last time, shorter than last time, we got a secret hashtag of the day. Type that with your comment down below or by itself, and we'll know you are a part of the team RNA that watched the entire video all the way through. From the beginning to the end, whole video. And that secret hashtag of the day is hashtag super tool. Hashtag super tool. And we'll know you watched the whole video. All right, thank you guys so much. Leave a question for next week. Subscribe. If you want an RNA music t shirt, this is not that, but if you want some Arnie Music swaggy swag, we've got a link down in the description to our Teespring store. You too can have a sweet, sweet Arnie Music t-shirt or leggings or socks or a cuppy cup awesome. or something. <clears throat> Go get you some of that if you want, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. We need the music. We need to keep it alive for the next generation of <laughs> strongest Avengers. And fairies. And <laughs> fairy princesses mm -hmm. with pink hair. You're like pink. Kind of like, you kind of look like a rock star. Yeah. I need to go to Dollar General. What are you going to get? <laughs> uh, a box for my pumpkins. Box for pumpkins. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.
Mm-hmm. 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 Strongest Avenger. Strongest Avenger.